Coming your way on Golden State Warriors today, we're going to take a look at five affordable free agents that the Golden State Warriors can sign in NBA free agency, which does begin on Friday. Before we begin, though, we do a great job of going back looking at your feedback, looking at what you have to say and the opinions that you share down in the comment section. We've seen so many people saying, I don't care about any of these free agents. The Gold State Warriors need to sign a center. They need a rim protector. They need a big, they need to fortify that front court. Well, we've listened to everybody. So we're going to do a free agent centers video. So if you want that, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video because I'm in agreement with all of you. It's one of the biggest needs, if not the biggest need for the Gold State Warriors this offseason. So we'll get to those five free agents, but first, we have to do our due diligence here and give you an update on Draymond Green. As for the latest on him, it is peak negotiating time. It is peak trying to get leverage time at this point of the offseason. And according to a report, Draymond Green is very open to listening to other teams' offers. And it's understandable to see why. For the first time in his career, he could test the free agency market to see what his value is. And you know there's that saying out there, you are worth what another company, or in this instance, what another team is willing to pay you if it's not the Golden State Warriors. Mark Stein with this, saying, although Draymond is expected to return to Golden State, Draymond and his agent Rich Paul are very open to meeting with other teams during the free agency period. And again, I can see where Draymond is coming from. If he doesn't get an offer from the Warriors that he feels as though he's worth, and if he feels as though he's been disrespected by the Warriors, I'm telling you right now, there's another team out there that will give him around $100 million, especially from an organization that can taste being this close to an NBA championship. We'll continue to keep you updated with the latest on Draymond Green right here on Warriors today. That's why you subscribe to the channel. So without further ado, affordable free agent targets. Steph Curry's making a lot of money. Klay Thompson is... Andrew Wiggins is having a big payday, and Draymond Green might come back on a contract around $100 million. So that's why Mike Dunleavy Jr., Kurt Lacob, they have to do a good job of targeting some of these affordable free agents who they can bring in here to Golden State to help them get back to championship contention. Let's begin with the familiar face here in Kelly Oubre Jr. Several years ago, he played really well for the Phoenix Suns, he goes to the Golden State Warriors. I don't know if he really tapped into his potential and really was happy with his role because his numbers were a little bit disappointing. And it's become clear over time that maybe Kelly Oubre Jr. is a good stats, bad team player because last year with the Charlotte Hornets, their numbers were really good. 48 games played, 20 points per game, but only 43% from the field, sub 32% from three-point range. I think because of the lack of efficiency and him failing to play top-tier basketball with winning teams, that other teams are going to be a little bit hesitant to give him big money on the free agency market. And if he comes to the Golden State Warriors, could he fulfill a depth role, athleticism role, and a size role for this team that they do need that was exploited in the second round in that defeat against the Los Angeles Lakers? Let's open up the comment section once more here. You make the call. You're in the shoes of Mike Dunleavy Jr. Should you bring back Kelly Oubre Jr.? S for sign, P for pass. Let us know down in the comment section. Now to Mason Plumley, a big who would certainly fulfill one of those aforementioned needs for the Warriors here in that front court. He could start for you. He could also be a backup for you. Also a former Hornet last year who played 56 games with Charlotte, but also after that trade played 23 games with the Los Angeles Clippers. The minutes went down with the Clippers, and because of that, the production went down. But Mason Plumlee is a low-maintenance big, who can score the basketball, won't shoot three-pointers because that's not a part of his game. But as you can see with the Hornets, when he was playing a lot, albeit with a bad team, that's why the minutes were up, 29 minutes per night, 
12 points per game, almost 10 rebounds. So he was nearly chiming in with the double-double night in, night out. I think with a team like Golden State, you can probably slot him in to get around those 20 minutes per night, but still give you about seven and a half, eight points to go along with seven rebounds. You need depth at that center position, and Plumlee would be able to give you that. A guy who's a pretty good athlete and can get it done on the defensive end of the floor, either as a backup to Kavon Looney, insurance policy to Kavon Looney, or as a spot starter as well. Whenever the Warriors make a signing during this free agency period, we're going to talk about it right here on the show. And tomorrow, myself and producer Jack, we're off. I'm still going to be giving you a show from home because the level of dedication is always there from us here on Warriors today. And it wouldn't be possible without all of your support. Subscribe. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Let's stay at the center position here with Andre Drummond. Like Mason Plumlee, will not stretch the floor, cannot stretch the floor but is really active on the glass, is a very good rebounder. With some of that drop coverage, I think both of these centers, given that they'll be playing alongside Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, two very good defenders, and potentially Klay Thompson as well if he's not dealt, they can get by on some of that drop coverage, which I think is really important for today's NBA with the stylistically defensively that a lot of these teams and the style of play that the NBA is trending toward. And Andre Drummond last year. Six points, around seven rebounds. He owes, he has always been an elite at crashing the glass. And as you can see, he is always very, very good at rebounding the basketball. Why is that important for Golden State? You have a guy like this who can rebound the basketball, outlet pass. It allows the Warriors to get out in transition and get up and down the floor very frenetically, which is one of their strengths, especially with Steph Curry and just how they like to play. Now, with Chris Paul, Andre Drummond rebounds the basketball at that second unit, outlet pass to Chris Paul. He gets up the floor, and he can start to dictate the pace of the game and set up that offense as well. A guy who can finish around the rim, not a great rim protector, but on this team might be better rim protecting alongside Draymond and Andrew Wiggins, but a very good rebounder, something that the Warriors desperately need. And of course, they definitely need some size. You know what you need during this summer season? This Warriors t-shirt combo here to my right. It is presented by our friends at Fanatics, and it's available for sale right now, 50% off Limited time only at chatsports.com slash dubs combo. You get the white shirt. You get the blue shirt as well. We'll put that link in the comments section and in the description of this video. Get swagged up and support the dubs by looking fresh during this summer season. To Jalen McDaniels now. So what's been the theme here of today's show with these affordable free agents? Bigs, athletic wings. Kelly Oubre, athletic wing. Jalen McDaniels, athletic wing. I was impressed by what he did with the Philadelphia 76ers, and I'm not trying to pick on the Charlotte Hornets here, but that is a couple of Charlotte Hornets to begin the program. Three out of four players here. They were a bad basketball team, and that's why they have some of these players who are cast-offs who aren't going to return. They were playing larger roles with Charlotte because they were an awful squad, but they can fill in for a team with playoff aspirations and give you that energy spark plug coming in off the bench. McDaniels is a very good defender, not as good as his brother, but still a pretty solid player. Again, like Plumlee, you have to figure that his minutes per game are going to go down. With the Warriors, let's slot him in for 15, 20 minutes per night, seven points per game, around a steal. Occasionally, he can hit a three and find twine from deep. He can play make a little bit by putting the ball on the floor because he's certainly athletic enough to do that. And he is a very active defender who can guard some other very athletic wings across the NBA. He'll get in foul trouble because sometimes he gets a little bit too active with those long arms, but those long arms can lead to deflections, which lead to steals, which lead to transition opportunities. Another reminder, we've been plugging our NBA free agency coverage right here on Warriors today that I will be helping lead on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. It all starts on Friday. Be sure to subscribe over there. We'll be talking about every single move that happens, and then when the Warriors make a move, I'll be breaking down all of those moves right here on Warriors today. Let's round out our affordable free agents with Kevin Love. Is he washed? Yeah, he might be. I think he was a little bit banged up with the Miami Heat. Still got some good run, got some good tick in that run to the NBA Finals. But two years ago, Kevin Love was actually a really solid player who shot around 39% from three-point range. And last year with the Heat, 21 games played after he was bought out, almost eight points per game, 
very good rebounder. The transition passes, elite. He might be the best transition passer in terms of the outlet pass when he grabs a rebound, gets it up floor, better than anybody I've ever seen in NBA history. I'm not even kidding. And that could lead to easy buckets for the Warriors on that fast break and in transition. And he can give you a few minutes per night in which he can play the four, he can play the five, he can rebound, he'll put his body into you. He's lost some athleticism juice, so he's a little bit slower, but he can make up for that by being a little bit tough on that low block and stretch the floor a little bit in a way that Andre Drummond and Mason Plumley and Kavon Looney cannot. So those are our five affordable free agent targets for the Golden State Warriors here. Kelly Oubre on the wing, Mason Plumley, Andre Drummond down low, Jalen McDaniels on the wing, and then Kevin Love, a hybrid big in today's NBA who can stretch the floor, knock down some threes, but also make things happen and shake it up down low as well. So with that, our final question of today's show is this. Name a player that the Golden State Warriors should sign. And drop that name down below in the comment section. And if you want a free agent center's video, we'll cook that up for you here on Warriors Today. All you have to do is hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. As always, thanks for tuning into the program today. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you tomorrow here on Warriors Today.